Roberts. Why haven't you been able to go back to the time that your father was alive and bring him back before he died? Dead tissue can't be transported. We tried it with mice and rabbits in the laboratory in 1941, and they just disappeared. Like my hamburger. Mr. Weldon, I assume that you're interested and that we can make our plans without using this revolver. I hope so. $15,000 is a lot of money. Of course, you were able to send those old people back a lot further. Some of them as far back as 1880. How long would they be gone? I mean, in subjective time. Several weeks, perhaps a month or more. There's only one problem, Miss Robertson. <laughs> I'm sure we can work out any details. Well, this one is a little hard to work out. You see, I'm hungry. I haven't been this hungry since I got lost on a hunting trip and went without food for three days. You say you forget I've got an interest in this business because they found some old people dead of malnutrition and $30,000 or so tucked away in their pockets. They had been gone a month or more and they had to eat during that time, didn't they? And when they came back, the food disappeared like my hamburger. It disappeared all at once, all over their body. In one fast jolt, they starved to death. Oh, no, you don't understand. They just couldn't take the field transition. They were too old, some of them, and they lied to me about their age to get the job. Oh, no, you can't tell me that because I know how hungry I am. And I was only gone about 12 hours. They were murdered. Get back. You know, they say a hungry man gets mighty desperate. He'll do almost anything. Let go. Let, no. let go of it. Oh. 